Amanda. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through making your first heat transfer vinyl cut. Sometimes you're gonna hear it referred to as HTV, but that is just a short abbreviation for heat transfer vinyl, so I'll be using them interchangeably. If you would like to follow along today, you will need your Singer Memento craft cutting machine, heat transfer vinyl, the object you're applying your vinyl to, your standard grip mat, your basic blade, and your weeder. To start with, I'm gonna open my MySonet crafting software, and I'm gonna select my canvas size. I'm gonna select 12 by 12 because that's the size of vinyl I have cut. And now with my blank canvas, I'm gonna add my design. I'm gonna scroll down to the add, and I'm gonna do a star today. So I'm gonna select the basic shape. I'm gonna scroll down and select my star, and hit okay. And now my star is on my canvas. To edit it, I'm gonna select the edit button on the right hand panel. And to change the size, I can either go to transform and enter my exact size, or I can take and I can drag the corners out or in to increase or decrease the size of my star. I know I want to make mine nine inches, so I'll simply type nine and hit enter. Now that I'm happy with the size of my design, I'm ready to set up my machine. To start setting up my machine, first I'm going to set up my mat. I have removed the clear liner and we want to keep that because that will be used when the mat isn't in use to keep it clean and free of dirt and debris. So first I'm going to take my heat transfer vinyl and we're always going to put it down shiny side down, mat side up, and I'm going to align it at the upper left hand corner of my mat and smooth it out. Now I have heat transfer vinyl on my mat, but if you're worried and you don't know if you have heat transfer vinyl or regular vinyl, all you have to do is simply weed the corner of your material. And if your vinyl is tacky, you're working with permanent vinyl. If your liner is tacky, you have heat transfer vinyl. So if you're ever wondering which vinyl you're working with, that's a great tip to use. Now I'm ready to load my basic blade into the right side of my dual tool holder. I will simply pull out the locking mechanism insert my blade and push it in to lock it in place. Next, I'm gonna load my mat. I'm gonna make sure it's between my guides. I'm gonna push it up against the pinch wheel and hit the load mat button. Now that I have my machine set up, I'm ready to send my design. So I'm gonna to come to the output and I've already set up my machine to my software. If you haven't, instead of start, you will see add new machine. And so then you would select that and follow the prompts on your screen. I have already set up my machine, so I will simply select start. Then I'm gonna select my 12 by 24 landscape map and select next. I'm gonna find my heat transfer vinyl and hit continue. Now I see my design on my material on my mat. And we'll note here it says flip for reverse cutting. It has automatically been enabled for this material. So when you're doing heat transfer vinyl, you wanna make sure that you always reverse your design because it will cut backwards. And then when you go to put it on your material, you will flip it over to be right side. So our software automatically does that for you. I'm ready, so I'm gonna hit next. And now this is a friendly reminder to load my mat, but also to flip my vinyl over to make sure it's shiny side down, mat side up. Since we have already loaded our mat, we'll hit continue. And now we will see that it's telling me to use the basic blade and it's giving me a recommended force and speed. Now when you're working with a new material, we always recommend to do a test cut to ensure that you're getting the proper cut for your exact material. I'm happy with this force and speed, so I will hit continue. And now I have the option to start my cut from my software or from my machine. Now I'm gonna start my design from my machine. So I'm gonna select start cutting. Now that the machine has finished my cut, I'm gonna to wanna to check to make sure it cut it completely through. So I'm just gonna simply select an area on the corner and weed it up and confirm that yes, it did cut my design. Now, if it didn't cut completely through, you would simply hit repeat cut on your machine and it would cut in the exact same spot again. 
But now if I had ejected my mat and then checked my cut and tried to repeat it, I could not guarantee it cut in the exact same spot. So you always wanna check before you eject your mat. Now that I have confirmed that my cut is good, I am ready to hit close and then eject my mat. Now I'm ready to weave my design. I'm gonna to choose to leave it on my mat simply because it is a larger design. You can always choose to remove your material from your mat to weed it. This is just my preference for this. So I'm simply gonna take and I'm gonna lift up a corner and then I can simply grip it and then I'm able to pull. And there we have it, our fully weeded design. Now I'm ready to remove my material from my mat. So what I like to do is I like to flip my mat over and remove the mat from the material. This just simply helps prevent any wrinkles or warping of my material as I remove the mat. Now that I have weeded my design, I am ready to press it onto my sweatshirt. I already have my pressing mat underneath my sweatshirt and I have my Singer Momento Square Press preheated to 300 degrees. So I'm simply gonna set my design down where I want it. And then I'm gonna take my press, press it down to the design and start my timer. I have it set for 20 seconds. Now that the timer is up, I'm going to remove my press and I'm going to check my design. Now I'm gonna to wanna to lift up a corner and I see that it is coming off cleanly. So I know it has been pressed for the right amount of time. If you lift up your corner and you see that it is still sticking to your backing, you simply wanna press it for another 10 seconds, remove your press and check again. So now I'm just gonna simply peel off the backing to reveal the design. And with that, we have successfully completed our first heat transfer cut with our Singer Momento craft cutting machine.